Hello! Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, it is the middle of March uh, 2024 and um, before you know it, it's going to be April, then May, then June. It's crazy how fast everything's going by. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm going to start by showing you guys where I'm at with the cross stitch progress. Um, let's see here. Let me show you first by kind of like uh, I don't know, maybe by least amount of stitches done to a project. So we have Mr. Gnome here, and uh, I worked on his ear area this past week, which is coming together very nicely. Actually, let me just take him out of his little hoop. Oh, uh, here he is. Mr. Gnome, he's coming together really super nicely. And this is 25 count, uh, I think Ugana, and uh, I'm actually just doing like 10 stitches, AKA half stitches, as you can see. So it looks really good on, on, on a 25 count, but I gotta tell you, I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm almost wondering if 25 count is at least, I don't know, it's just, am I getting too old? <laughs> I just don't know. It's, it's just, maybe it's the pattern, I don't know, but it just, it's, it's kind of a struggle right now for this. So I don't know why. Uh, I ended up spending a lot more time stitching other things this week, but I need to kind of get back to it. Maybe just because I haven't been stitching it much. I'm just not used to that because um, it's a different kind of stitching than everything else that I'm doing right now. So, I don't know. Maybe. maybe who knows? But um, that's project number one. Uh, let's see. Did I write down progress on that? Mm. No, I did not write down progress, so I don't remember exactly where I'm at on that. Uh, I have made good progress on my mini frog. He's coming along quite well. I stitched on him a lot this week. I mean, at least like five, six, seven hundred stitches or so. I am now at 57% um, and there's about 2,300 stitches left on him. So you can really see, I mean, I, I'm actually kind of surprised there's that many stitches left because I really don't think so. <laughs> Honestly, like it's like it doesn't look like there's all that much to finish because it's not like it goes all the way over here Like this is it. It's not it's not full coverage. So I don't know. So we'll see. I should be pretty close to getting it done um, By next week. I mean, maybe I did my math wrong, but it did tell me 57% so Yeah, I suppose there's a lot to fill in here and there. So it's all good All right, then the other project that I'm working on is my Colorado Mountains and the reason why it's Colorado Mountains is just because this is kind of like the Colorado flag and I've, I've made some really good progress on this one. I, this was my favorite one to stitch this week for some reason. I think I like the bold colors. Uh, I stitched again, I think I probably stitched six, 700 stitches on this one. I'm at 59% with about 2000 left. This is full coverage all the way down here. So, um, but it's coming together nicely and I'm liking it a lot, even though I realized something <laughs> as I'm, as I'm stitching it and I'm realizing something and I'm like, Am I doing this right? Um, the, the issue is, is that it looks nice. It's kind of like a natural, like the red sun or yellow or whatever is coming up. But that's not how the Colorado flag goes. Colorado flag, and I think that's probably the issue is like this needs to be over here and this needs to be over there. Um, is that the flag needs, it's more of a C. So I'm going to finish it because I still think it's cool. I still think it's cool and it's a mini pro it's a mini pattern but i don't know if it necessarily will be very representative of colorado but i don't know maybe i'll talk to christine about it see what she thinks so um here in here in denver at a stitching shop we'll see what she thinks um so i got those two those two and then of course old world map did not get my 400 done this week got about 220 done um i kept stitching on everything else and i just didn't want to pull out the big project and work on it for whatever reason but where i did stitch I believe you can tell because I really focused on just this, well, probably just this general area right here where I just filled in a lot of the darker colors and just made that kind of pop out some more. So, dudes, we're getting close. I mean, look at that. There's not that much left on this row. Not that much. So, very close. Very close. So, obviously, I owe myself 200 stitches, so I got to do 600. I actually need to see where I... Oops, sorry. I just got my hair cut yesterday, so I'm just getting used to it again, and my hair is flopping everywhere. Um, and so uh, I, I need to see, like, where I should be in terms of the end of March, since my goal is 400 stitches a week, 50 weeks this year. So we'll see, but getting a lot done. And then finally, I did that little adenum. Sorry, I had, like, 
I had a video, and then I had a denim video, and then I had, I mean, it just, it was a little crazy. Um, because after I finished the video and had uploaded it, I realized that I forgot to tell you guys about my fabric. So if you missed the video from last week, I had ordered some uh, fabric from Fabric Flare. Um, they're based out of Long Beach, California. And it came in, and I'm really happy. Like, I like this, this, this is kind of like a Halloween spooky. I saw it on their site with a pattern that I had seen actually at Nashville Market once. And it just was perfect for that Halloween pattern. So I'm like, you know, this would work really well. I mean, the spooky house would be good, but uh, Apothecary Shop is where I want to stitch on it. So I thought I should go ahead and start stitching, and then something happened. And guys, when I say something happened, I mean, it was like, it was kind of like a breakthrough. Um, so you know how I have said because I believed for so long that when I did the monochrome patterns that I made them as small as I could and maintain the detail. Like I could not adjust the process to allow it to be smaller and still look decent. Um, I just, you know, the methods that I was using weren't working or wouldn't work for that. And I tried and tried and tried, I couldn't get it to work. I got my headphones in. <laughs> um, I wondered why it was so quiet. So uh, I, uh, I don't know what happened. I really don't. It's like one of those things where it was like, you know, the piece of chocolate fell into the peanut butter container kind of thing. Um, but something happened and I kind of figured out a process to make things smaller. Now, I'm going to show some examples up here of what I'm talking about, but let's just you know, talk about that for a second. So it's not going to work for everything because I've tried on a couple of things that are like supremely detailed and they don't look as good right now. And I still want to work on them and massage them and kind of see, but I've been, I've been working on some of the, um, ones that I've recently been redoing. Um, Coliseum is one of them, uh, dramatically cut down on the number of stitches. And when I say dramatically cutting down guys, I'm calling these mediums because they're not like teeny little small ones. The mediums are taking a project that might have 25,000 stitches and bring it down to like 9,000 stitches and still look really good as hopefully you guys can kind of, if you can tell the difference between whatever it is that I'm showing here. I've done, um, yeah, I did the, the Colise I think the Coliseum was one that I did. If not, it just happens to be a pattern that I redid and put on the store because it needed to be redone. But, um, but I have other ones. Um, I worked on elephant. The, the the elephant, the monochrome elephant, is beautifully detailed, but it's also huge. And I was able to work on it, and I made a medium elephant, which I'm gonna say I think again it was like only like eight or nine thousand stitches. The the mediums are getting to like under ten thousand stitches, which is extremely doable, and it makes me happy because as much as I like to do these big complicated pieces, it's a little easier if I were to actually like do, you know, the, the ones that are like eight, nine thousand stitches. So I actually uh, was able to put together um, a version of it for apothecary shop. And um, so it should, you know, it should come out looking really good on this fabric. Um, and it won't, I'm glad I hadn't started, but it won't be nearly as many stitches as it was going to be. Like it's the, the time savings is going to be unbelievable. So Keep an eye out for the medium, the medium monochromes is what I'm going to call them for right now. I don't know how else to do it. Um, and so, and wouldn't that be amazing if I could actually take the mediums and actually convert these, these down to like a mini form. I mean, that's the hard part, right? I mean, that's the, wait a minute. I figured out how to do that this week. I did. And so <laughs> this is something that people have been asking for since the store opened like over three years ago. Um, using the same processes again not for everything not yet for everything but i've begun to take different patterns and create much smaller versions of them i was just working on an eiffel tower version um i the elephant actually has a mini monochrome um and i'm just going to pop up some different pictures now hardly anything's on the store right now there's some a couple of uh there's i think couple of things. Oh, like you can see, well, no, you can't see. You see the mini flat iron building? I don't know. You can't even hardly see it right there. But that's one of them too, is the mini flat iron. So yeah, actually, I think I wrote down, where did I write down my, my notes at? I wrote my notes down. Where are my notes? Oh, 
Oh, this was from last week. Oh, that explains why I'm off on everything. Okay. I was using the wrong sheet. Don't ask me why. I, 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 I have no idea. Anyway, let me cut back to center here. Holy cow, guys. Should I start the video over? No, I'm not going to start the video over. Um, so, actually, I only have seven. Okay, I will show you, though. There's 1,750 stitches to go. If you guys were actually keeping track of where I was, you were probably confused by me saying I still had over 2,000 stitches. I'm at 67% for this. Woohoo! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, you think I just did this. Like, 20 minutes ago, I wrote this down. You think I remember that. Um, and Colorado's at 71% with about 1,400 stitches to go. The gnome is at 33%. So that is good. Oy vey. So, so flat iron. So flat iron. <laughs> All right, then. Man, you cannot. That, that was perfect timing, wasn't it? That was crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, so, um. Flat irons. So this is the famous flat irons building in New York City. Uh, one of my first monochromes that I did two and a half years ago, whenever it was, uh, was a full size version of it. And it's, I don't know, it's got to have like 18,000 stitches on it or something like that. Um, this is a, you could call it a medium, but I'm calling it a mini. And kind of how I'm classifying mini is how many stitches there are. So I think if it's like under about 4,000, 4,500, it should be called a mini, or maybe under just say 3,500, 4,000 or so. So mini flat irons, but flat irons um, <laughs> is about 95 by 155, and it has 3,500 stitches. That's crazy. Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. I almost forgot something. Boy, I'm not very prepared for this today. I really am not. But that's okay. You guys know that's how it goes, right? Um, baseball. Baseball is something that I, I had started a very little bit, and I hadn't gotten very far, and I made a mini of it. So I made a mini of it uh, 115 by 70, and I think it's like 2,000 stitches. What, did I say the minis come down to about 3,000? A lot of the minis are coming down to 2,000 monochrome stitches. And it's not got the, it's not got like perfect detail, but it's the same as a lot of other minis. Like when you get down that small, I mean, it's, you're not going to get the detail, but that's not what we're looking for with those. If you just want to stitch something that's, that's cool looking and different and smaller, that's what it's going to be. You know, you're going to have that option. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. There's a lot of work. I keep making more work for myself. It's like I do more patterns and then I end up, uh, you know, let's go back and redo them. Let's go back and make other versions of them. Um, let's go back and, you know, anyway, I am doing a lot of new stuff too. I have a lot of new stuff. I kind of overwhelmed Daphne at the end of, of last week with, I just, actually it was because of this. I started putting together all these mediums and minis and I was thinking about trying to hold back from like telling you guys about it, but you guys know me. I can't, can't keep anything secret except for the big secret that might happen later in the year. But anyway, um, so, oh, I did write down some numbers. So the fantasy medieval home, which is actually new, I believe it's brand new or it's fairly new. Um, the original is a lot of stitches over 25,000 stitches, I'm pretty sure. The new medium on it is less than 8,000 stitches. So I'm putting those up. Um, I love the fact that I finally figured out how to like do a little bit of editing so I can show you guys pictures. So you guys, and I don't have to like hold stuff up all the time. It doesn't look as good. Um, the Japanese pagoda that a lot of folks like, but I think it's kind of daunting because there's a lot of stitches in there. Um, and I think for pagoda, I want to say it's like 30,000. The medium version, has less than 7,000. Uh, Spirit Wolf is new, right? You guys like Spirit Wolf. It's, it's been pretty popular lately. Um, and Spirit Wolf has I don't know, 17, at least 17, 18,000 stitches on it. Um, the medium version has 9,400. So if, if you like the monochromes, but you haven't been stitching them because you're like, man, it's just too big of a project for me, or, um, it's, you know, it's just too much, too much to do, but they're cool. Um, they're a lot more doable now. So I just wanted to make it so that there was options for everybody. I'm a people pleaser. It's part of my downfall. It's part of my, it's part of my, my good and bad traits. Good for everybody else, bad for me. Um, 
All right, I actually have, I was stitching on mini elephant and in a perfect world, my plan was to have it done today for you guys. Um, but that did not happen because the last couple days have been absolutely insane. Now, don't laugh at the eyeball. I got to fix the eyeball. When these, when I get these minis, when these different patterns kind of get brought down uh, in size, uh, there's a fair bit of adjustment that, that has to be done with the pixelation part of it to kind of, or with the stitches part, I mean, and to kind of, you know, fix it up because nothing like just gets made and then, oh, it's perfect. No, everything has to be adjusted and, and edited and whatnot. So, um, so his eyeball doesn't look quite right, but I wanted to kind of keep stitching and kind of figure it out. But this is uh, the mini elephant, which is like 2,300 stitches, I think. So he's coming out nice, but his eye is a little too, a little too much. I'm trying to figure out how to get that better. But um, yeah, I'm about 40% of the way through him. So I think the back end is like right here. So most of the stitching is like right through here. But I'll, I should have this done by next week. But you guys can kind of see. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing minis. Um, I'm going to obviously just throw them in with everything else I'm stitching. And start doing minis. Why am I sitting like this? This is not good for my back. Um, <laughs> and so, um, you guys can see them. And I'll get some, I'll get even more finishes done. It's going to be insane. Absolutely insane. So, alrighty. Alrighty. So, um... All right, what are, where are the rest of my notes? Anyway, I'm excited. Did I just say I was excited? I'm going to say, tell you I'm excited again. I was talking to my good friend Ronnie Rowe over the weekend, catching up with him some. And um, did you guys see the video he did last week? Uh, I, he has a lot more views on his videos than I usually do. I was like, what happened to your channel? It kind of blew up last week. He had like, I think he had like 2,000 or more views on his on his video. Um, I mean, his, his patterns that he shows are really cool, but... Um, yeah, anyway, it was kind of funny. We had a good time talking. And uh, he, he wanted me to tell you guys that um, that I was right in saying that he will never agree with me that black and white should can you know would look really great on color fabric. He knows that that looks good, but anyway, I, I love you, Ronnie. You're awesome. Um, so the snow we had. Okay, so I think that's it with cross-stitch. I think that's it. I got a lot of work to do. Um, I guess one last thing. What I have been doing the last couple, well, it feels like I'm ramping up for getting back to work next week. I have, um, PT one day. I have my x-rays. I'm going to go back to work for a couple of hours, um, each day, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday I have my next follow-up with the surgeon to see how everything's going. I feel like I'm doing really well. Um, I'm not walking like as much and as long as maybe they would want me to, but honestly, like I'm up and moving around the house and that's just not carrying my, my phone with me to have a step counter. I'm just up and moving and walking around all the time. So, um, taking some walks, think of the most I've walked is almost a mile and a half, but, uh, you kind of have to watch it, but the nerve pain has really reduced a great deal. And the last, the last walk hardly hurt at all. The, um, I've been getting uh, hip pain, like a like a fatigue on both sides, but that can also be from the nerves, because that was actually the first, very first symptom I had was when I walked, I would have pain in the front of my hip joint, and uh, where I, I was like, oh, it's my hip flexors are sore, or they're weak, or tight, or it's blah blah, or hip arthritis, or whatever, and it actually what it came back was, ultimately, it was the first symptom of my sciatica, so um, I'm hoping that's all it is, I'm hoping it isn't because I'm weak, but, uh, cause it's going to hurt to get better, but it's going to hurt to get stronger. But, um, I am excited about going back to work guys. I so excited to go back and it's not because I want to see people. I do want to see people. I, I love my coworkers. I just want to kind of get out and be doing some more stuff. I mean, it's not, I mean, granted I work on cross stitch stuff like eight hours a day, but, um, yeah, I just, I can't wait for it. It's going to be awesome. Um, and then hopefully with, uh, physical therapy starting, I'll be able to be more physical in other ways. That's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, the snow. So I think last week when I talked to you guys, I think I mentioned that we may end up having snow. Uh, I think it was coming in like Thursday or Wednesday night or something like that. We ended up in the total of it. We roughly estimate we got about 15 inches where we're at. So, um, that was, that was pretty cool. It honestly though, it didn't seem like 15 inches. I mean, from a standpoint of 
for most of the daytime hours, it was just this like little fine snow that was coming down. It wasn't these big fluffy flakes. And uh, it was a heavy wet snow, but anyway. So uh, we're supposed to get more next week, <laughs> maybe three inches or something. I mean, the snow is virtually melted. It's probably like 90%, 93% gone at this point. So um, it doesn't stick around very long. I mean, it's like 60 degrees today, so it's beautiful. <sighs> Try to think if I have anything else to tell you guys. Um, other than to say that some awesome things are coming and more patterns, more fun, more great things. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I have a lot of editing to do, so I'm going to get to that. I got a lot of pictures to pop up and show you guys. Um, but check out the, the website, stickingjewelsdesign.com. Um, the new stuff will be uh, there in the, new, in the new stuff. I am still in the process of, there's two things I'm doing. One is I'm going through every pattern on the store and I'm fixing errors. Um, there's there's some things that I apparently missed the first time I set this up. And although everything worked for a while, I think there was some kind of update and now it's not working as far as not being visible, like Google shopping or something. Uh, so I'm literally going through every single pattern and like just finding any error and kind of fixing it. Uh, but for whatever reason, and I'm not sure how this happened, but there are a fair number of patterns that didn't actually have a digital file associated with them. So I had somebody buy a pattern and then be like, hey, I never got an email. And I uh, went and looked and I was like, why is there not a pattern associated with it? So uh, I'm going through, it might've been when I was removing the physical pattern options. It might've done something to it. Although when I'm doing it now, it's not removing those options, but I don't know. Anyway, um, so, Yep, we're gonna get that done. And um, so I'm working on that. I'm like at pattern 127 that I'm giving numbers to. I have to give new numbers to everything. Um, but I'm actually, I'm probably like about 170 or 80 items in at least. So um, I'm over halfway and I hope to be done with this by the end of the week. This is something I've been meaning to do for quite a long time. Um, and as I'm doing it, I'm checking, I'm making notes of where I need to, um, uh, how do I say this, where I need to actually, you know, um, do better patterns, you know, like, inc you know, make, upgrade that pattern. It's a really, really old pattern. Let's, let's fix it up. Like it's a new pattern. Cause they don't like it. Like somebody comes to my store and they go look at something that I put up like a year and a half ago. And it's like lacking the detail that I do nowadays. You know, they're going to look at that one pattern and be like, eh, it's not very good quality. And they're not even look at anything else, and then that's the, the impression that they got. And I just, you know, you only have one chance to make a first impression, right? There you go. So, uh, so anyway, so yeah, so I got, I'm just working on it. And then when I get all the products done, the next step is to convert the store over to a new theme, give it a new look. I got some good ideas on what I want to do because um, I want to do something that's a little bit different than you see out of other cross-stitch stores. So we'll see, we'll see. And I'm also struggling with the whole TikTok thing. Um, oh my goodness, like, <sighs> well, I mean, we all know that, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know if what's gonna happen with its future per se, but um, I've been trying to figure out how to like sell patterns like directly from TikTok, um, the way that I now can with YouTube um, to put links like right in the video and whatnot, um, but, TikTok does not really allow you to do that. I, there's like, there's a personal account, a creator account, a business account, and then you can put together a shop, but then the shop has to carry somebody else's materials. It can't carry your own. But if you want to carry your own, you have to actually get a trademark and um, permission, in, you know, from TikTok. And a lot of people get denied for whatever reason. They just get denied. And, um, and I'm just like, should I even bother doing it? I had somebody on TikTok ask me, hey, it'd be great if you could put your, your patterns on here. And I'm like, yeah, it, it could be if it wasn't so dang confusing. So I'm just, I'm old, set my ways, just set my ways. Um, but uh, so yeah, I, I don't know if that's gonna ever happen per se, but I'm trying to do a few more videos here and there. Um, it's just, getting them done and, and getting them on there. But I will say, I feel I feel better now than I've felt in a very long time. Um, and by very long time, I'm talking years. Um, 
the back feels good, but the brain feels really good. It's alert. It's It feels like it's pretty clear. I started drinking some coffee. That's not why it's clear, Hubs. The Hubs thinks that I need to drink more coffee. I'm not going to drink that in front of you guys. I don't, I don't like doing that. Um, but uh, so I'm drinking some coffee. And uh, yeah. Uh-oh. They're going to start messing with our stuff. Somebody sprayed white spray paint out in front of our driveway. I think it's the sewer guys. And um, I haven't, we haven't gotten a notice or anything that they're going to do work. And I contacted the water department. They're like, no, we don't know. We don't know anything about that. Um, the city may know, but I, I, for, I keep forgetting to contact the city. Wait, what's he doing over there? Yeah, there he is. Okay, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm... I'm they're taking pictures and stuff. Are they really? Are they really? Oh yeah, because the news of the week was a car got stolen down the street. Yep, across the street from a buddy of mine that lives down there, he sent me his security tape so we could see. It was like four o'clock in the morning, so uh, couldn't see much, but could actually see the car get stolen right out of the driveway. So um, it, some of you may remember some years ago, a couple years back when my car got stolen, uh, right when COVID started. Um, it was a Saturday and got my car stolen. I got it back 30 days later. Got it back. It, it was crazy. But uh, yeah, so anyway, it's just that we don't live in a, in a, we live in a nice place. It's just where we live off of certain roads, there are um, auto thieves and whatnot. Like there's a ring of them or whatever that operate just to the north of us, northeast of us. And they come down this way because it's, Easy pickings, maybe? I don't know. And uh, people are able to, uh, I don't know, steal cars. They've been doing it for years. So, I mean, they get caught, but other people come along and do it do it again. So, uh, all right, I got to stop just babbling. Babble, babble. Um, all right, I got a video to edit. So, I hope you guys are have a great rest of your week and you get a lot of stitching done. And you enjoy the spring. And I'll talk to you guys very soon.